Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, and as usual, we're bringing you the latest weather information online, but don't forget about our updates coming up on air throughout the rest of the morning, including News Channel 3's Live at 9, starting at 9 o'clock this morning, News Channel 3 at noon. And, of course, Tim and Jim will have your forecast coming up a little bit later on this afternoon and this evening. Todd Demers at the Flapjack event in South Haven, Mississippi, along with News Channel 3 sports anchor Mike Sadie. So if you'd like to drop by that event, check out WREG.com for the latest on what's going on down there. Rest of the day today, again, cloudy skies for the most part. More chances of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and into and around the area of about Thursday or so. And then also looking at the possibility of some more thunderstorms way off in the future. But for right now, the good news is that we appear to have some drier conditions heading our way. So for the next several days after this next chance of rainfall and into this next weekend, drying out finally and then getting into some more possible thunderstorms again as we go into early May. We'll talk about that coming up in the forecast in just a little bit. In the meantime, for the rest of the day today, it will be, again, kind of that back and forth between the clouds and the sunshine with the clouds mostly winning throughout the rest of the day. If you can't stick around for our netcast here, that's cool. Again, forecast scrolling by in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen or check out, again, the complete seven-day forecast at WREG.com slash weather for more information about what's going on across the Mid-South area. And again, if you've got any weather reports out there, drop those into our comments section. And we'll read off some of those, like Dustin Brumfield from around mostly cloudy and 60 in Smithville, Mississippi, and 73. Thank you very much from fellow amateur radio operator there. Thanks for checking on in for early this morning. Again, for the rest of the day, kind of that back and forth with cloud cover out across the Mid-South and seeing, again, winds fairly light out of the Southwest. But... Those southwesterly winds are going to be doing a very good job of keeping our temperatures up for the rest of the day today. Cloudy across much of the area, some sunshine sneaking on through, but not by much. From the quad on the Ole Miss campus, looking at cloudy skies back toward the west of Oxford in northern Mississippi for this morning. Olive Branch, Mississippi, courtesy of former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Rikers, weather underground webcam. And again, looking to the northwest, seeing a lot of cloud cover across Olive Branch. At the Olive Branch Airport, temperatures back in the lower 60s. Winds west-southwest at about 9 miles per hour. So we are seeing, again, some decently mild conditions out there. It's fairly dry, again, with not too much in the way of humidity for right now. City Hall cam from Germantown, from the water towers around Germantown High School, Poplar Pike, and Germantown Road. Heavy rush hour traffic going on for right now. And, of course, those cloudy skies out across the Mid-South. 63 with cloudy skies reported at City Hall in Germantown. Southerly winds at about 8 miles per hour. Traffic along the area of Poplar Park Avenue and back toward the Quince area overpass. Traffic heavy but moving along nicely again under under over under overcast skies. Try saying that three times fast. And around our transmitter tower <coughs> camera, looking again at the possibility of much more cloud cover out there than anything else. A little bit of sunshine across the area. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies are giving me some dickens of a time for this morning. Looking at again traffic moving along well on I-40, but heavy in both directions between Witten, Appling, and Germantown Parkway back toward the horizon. Cloud cover again sticking around for the rest of the day today as our latest storm system gets geared up back to the west. It's going to be heading in from off the Rockies and the southern desert area around the desert southwest, making its way across the south central United States. Now, here in the Mid-South this morning, we have little, if anything, taking place in the way of rainfall. Clean sweeps on Storm Tracker 3S radar at this time, so decently quiet for the, the time frame for right now. And looking again at no major problems out there for the time being. But the storm system back to the west, looking at just the rainfall potential, the Arklatex area back toward the Red River, Oklahoma and Texas will be seeing the possibility of much in the way of chances of showers and thunderstorms and maybe some severe weather out uh, into this area here. But we're not really looking at anything major just yet. A little bit of rainfall back around portions of western Arkansas, Fort Smith, back toward Waldron, Fayetteville, down toward Mena and Dequeen, picking up more areas of showers this morning, but that's on the western side of the state. We're still not really looking at too much here in the Mid-South for the next couple of days, actually. Mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, and these are some of the coolest numbers across the Mid-South, and that includes into the metro area. Again, a little bit on the milder side as we go throughout the rest of the day as winds will be out of the south 
at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now that will do a very good job of bumping our numbers up throughout the rest of the day as we see numbers by about lunchtime going back into the mid-70s. So if you're going to be outdoors uh, for lunchtime today, no problem at all being seen there for a nosh out on the patio. And again, picking up the kids from school, temperatures will be on the mild side once again. 70s across much of the area, just below 80 degrees out there. Uh, George Moore, another amateur radio operator, checking in this morning, WV4W. Uh, welcome to the show from KG4GKE. K uh, Amy Pilcher, 59 degrees in Blue Springs, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for the weather report for there. And everybody else checking in from across the Mid-South this morning on our video blog, Weather Overtime, for early on. Temperatures by dinner time tonight, brief into the 80s in some locations, mainly mid to upper 70s out across the Mid-South. And then temperatures again throughout the rest of the evening with these southerly winds will not be dropping too much farther. By about midnight and afterwards, we'll show again the possibility of some very mild numbers in the mid to upper 60s. And by early tomorrow morning, Western Arkansas, southern Missouri may pick up a little bit more in the way of some light sprinkles, but remember this is moving into very dry air. So it's a good possibility that even this rainfall several thousand feet up as it drops down toward the surface is going to evaporate on the way down. So it's going to take a lot more moisture to overpower that dry air before we get any rainfall here in the Mid-South area. At least that's the way it looks like for right now. That could slow down, that could speed up, but right now it looks like the best chances of rainfall are about a day away or so. Rest of the day today, again, more clouds across the area, very mild temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, and continuing again to see some pretty mild conditions into later this afternoon and this evening. Starting off tomorrow, we've got outdoor plans for Wednesday, See if you can get them done early because the best chances of showers and thunderstorms will be coming up as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then for Thursday, the best possibility for outdoor things is not looking good as we see widespread chances of showers and thunderstorms across the Mid-South. Now, because of that extra amount of cloud cover and also seeing some rainfall chances out there, we may see some numbers a little lower than normal. Not exactly a cold wave coming on through, but temperatures dropping to the lower 70s out there. 64 and cloudy in Blytheville. Diana Stacy, thank you very much for checking in for this morning on weather overtime. Temperatures as we go through Friday, again, a little cooler there, mid-70s or so. Could see a few showers and thunderstorms early Friday morning and then clearing out for the rest of Friday. So into the weekend looks good. The weekend looks spectacular with lots of sunshine out there. A few more clouds by Sunday afternoon and evening. And then by next week, we see another chance of showers and thunderstorms way off to about Wednesday. But again, being 10 days out, a lot can change between here and there. In the meantime, this is the really good news because from about Friday through about early Wednesday of next week, not expecting anything in the way of chances of showers and thunderstorms. So it looks like we've got an extended period of time coming up to where we're not going to see anything in the way of rainfall. And that's what a lot of you, I know, have been uh, waiting for out there. So we're starting to see, again, some very nice conditions uh, into and around the area for right now. Uh, Rick and Angie Massengill, will it storm on Wednesday? Uh, possibility of thunderstorms coming up, it looks like afternoon and evening on Wednesday. And that's going to be about it. Best possibility for storms will be on Thursday. Now, if you're talking about next Wednesday into early May, there is that possibility of some thunderstorms, but it's a minimal chance for right now, and it's far in the future, so I'm just really not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of really good news where it comes to chances of showers and thunderstorms. For the weekend itself, again, looking pretty good out there. So, so far, pretty quiet for the time being. 63 in Jackson. Tennessee, Greg Rivers, thank you very much for the weather report there. And thanks to everybody else for dropping in on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Lynn Wiggins Ransom, thank you very much for a sunlit view of the underside of the cloud cover from around 200 Jefferson Avenue. And this is from a couple of weeks ago. Facebook, again, spitting out some of these uh, pictures at odd intervals. So we're featuring some of the past ones that we've had for a while. Lisa A. Seberg Freeman from Senatobia a couple of weeks ago. Thank you very much for that. Banner, Mississippi. Scott Jarvis, always catching some good sunrises or sunsets from around Banner. Thank you very much, Mr. Jarvis, for that. And Patty Danley Bradshaw, nice view a couple of weeks ago 
from early April around Hickory Width, right before some rain showers moved in. Kind of looked a lot like this morning with that thin strip of sunlight out there, so nice to catch that view. If you've got weather pictures like these folks did by sending them in to us, please let us know. Post them on my Facebook page, tweet them to me, link to me on Instagram, or you can email me. Again, send them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. would love to see more of your weather reports out there and more of your pictures as well so we can show them to everybody else. So please send them along to us, and we'll be glad to forward them along on News Channel 3 social media across the area. Plus, right now there's no severe weather expected for the Mid-South, and that's great news to tell everybody about, but it is right now that people don't understand that you need to get ready for severe weather before it happens. Get ready to know know where to go to when severe weather hits. Make certain you've got fresh batteries for your weather radio. Have push alerts for your phone so that you can get alerts direct from the National Weather Service over your mobile device or tablet. Do not just rely on tornado sirens to let you know that something is happening. Those are meant for outdoor activities and today's buildings that are much more structurally sound and a lot more well insulated to keep the air conditioning and the heating inside the buildings, it does a good job of preventing those outdoor noises from getting through. So a lot of people cannot hear the tornado sirens well inside of a house. So you need another way to get ready for severe weather to let you know what's coming your way. Great way to do that. Tim and Jim will keep you updated. You sign up for weather call. They will call you to let you know that something is in your area, easy to sign up. All you have to do is go to WREG.com and click on weather for more information about that. Again, right now when nothing is going on is the perfect time to get ready for severe weather to make certain you're ready to go when severe weather actually happens. So please keep that in mind. All right, one more check of the forecast before we wrap things up for just a little bit. Uh, Faye Faison, hope I'm saying that right, from Syracuse, New York. Okay, from a little bit farther away for this morning. Thank you very much for checking in from a little bit further outside of the Mid-South. Rest of the day, very much on the mild side. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s. Close to 80 degrees. Very close, but not for everybody across the Mid-South. It's going to be those southwesterly winds that do a good job of keeping the temperatures up throughout the rest of the day. So some pretty mild numbers across the Mid-South all the way throughout the rest of Tuesday. And again, if you've got outdoor plans, today and early Wednesday would be your best bet because as we go into the rest of the week, more chances of showers and thunderstorms. Again, severe weather doesn't look like a threat to us right now. If that changes, of course, we'll let you know about that as we go throughout the rest of the morning and throughout the rest of the day. Tim and Jim will have more on your forecast coming up later on this morning and into this evening as well, starting on News Channel 3, first at 4. That'll wrap it up for Tuesday morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day. And thanks for joining us this morning.